Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. And we are here in beautiful Sasau. And we have a ton of side quests to take care of, particularly over there at the monastery. But before we do that, I figure it's time that we upgrade our weaponry. Um, we've held it off for about as long as we can. And we've got an activity giver there, which is not what we're looking for. But we are looking for the weaponsmith up here. Uh, the armor smith is in Ratai. We'll have to go visit him another time. My breath is short, my feet are but let's see what we can find over here. Some new sharpened pointies. Hello? Are you the weaponsmith? No, you are just the trader, and you are the shop guard. That'd be awesome, though, if you just walk in and the person who made the best swords in the game was a woman. Assassin? Axe? Bailiff Mace? Well, you do have weaponry. I will give you that. A cleaver? Chop chop. Do we have anything for stabbing? Because that seems to be my... Oh, hello there. The duelist. Ooh, that's a pretty looking sword, too. The Fear Knot. 64 to a 52. That's strange. That one's actually far better and costs less. Oh, Defense Charisma. Ah, gotcha. Hmm. Decorative Longsword more suited to duels in the battlefield. Nevertheless, it can be deadly in skilled hands. Well, that's not mine. Against one opponent. But the fra oh, the fragility of the blade is a drawback. I see. Gotcha. Oh, wait a minute. Are you out here? Oh. You're working on things. That makes sense. Good day to you. What do you need? If you have the exact same stuff, I'd go talk to the lady. Assassin... Yeah, you have the exact same things. Okay, let's see... If there's anything we can find other than the... Oh, needle. Hmm. Noble's hunting sword, page's sword, the pricker. <laughs> Neither defense nor slashing attack are its best points. 231. Saving grace... This is the best long sword a nobleman who's fallen on hard times can afford. Well, we are definitely not fallen on hard times. So you know what? We are going to go ahead and procure the fear knot for 1.2k. And actually, it was cheaper to talk to the lady. So just yet another benefit. Was, was I correct? Or is it the Fear Not 1.2? The Duelist was actually a little bit cheaper, but it's okay. No worries. You will add that to the basket. And we will go ahead and sell our Mercenary's Bedfellow. Buying and selling. For only 43 groschen for that Mercenary's Bedfellow that served us so well. Okay. Bam. And that's a pretty looking sword too. I like the I like the duelist a little bit better, but it's supposed to look prettier. Because it's a dueling sword. Alrighty. So now that we got that done. Oh, we might as well check the blacksmith here too. See if you have any. My breath is short, my feet are sore, I'd buy a horse. Any gear I hope worth I can buying. Be of help to you, Knight. Okay, bludgeon. I'm looking for armor, my friend. And that is a negative. You got piercing arrow though, which is uh good. If we want to go ahead and buy that. How, what do we have in terms of our arrows, now that I think about it? We've got better hunting arrows that only do 80. Eh. 
And we've got 84 of them, though. So, I'm not really going to worry about that, then. Cool. Well, I think that's all that we can do here. Let's go ahead and look at our brief and see... The House of God. Go to the monastery and ask about the accident. That's about the, the quarry. Find out why Fritz and Matthew owe the monastery. Help healing the sick in the monastery. And remember, we're maxed out on our first aid, so that should be good. Um, Maldizians? I don't even know where that is. Where is that quest? Now that I think about it. Maldizians is all the way up here. Yowza. That's near our uh, buddy the priest. Okay, well, we'll have to do that another time because that's just, <laughs> that's just not happening right now. So we will go ahead and rock out saintly remains in God's hands. We have the house of God already. Weeds. And we still have playing with the devil as well, but we have four quests here in Sasau. So come on, Pebbles. Let's go ahead and see what's what. This monastery seems to be a very popular place, especially since it's under construction. What I'm really curious about is if we're going to have to deal with that guy who uh, spent all that time flirting and asking for favors, let's say, from one of our friends who's healing the sick. I'm not sure. I guess we are about to find out. Hello there, piggy. Thank you, Pebbles. Now, who are you in the fashionable hat? Zamola. I'm looking for whoever's in charge here. The construction's led by Master Builder Corral. You'll recognize him easily enough. He's the only one who doesn't look like a laborer. But if you want to talk to the overseer, then he's probably in his study at the top of the stairs in the gatehouse. And what do you do? Anyway. Uh... Get a piece of the remains, so the cave is underneath there. And it looks like all of these quests are over here. These wounds have been well taken care of. Okay. He just needs to sleep. We're using our sheet is another one. Our first aid. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. Insomniac. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep! What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week! It hurts like fuck! And with everyone else moaning what the hell and groaning are you doing? all night, are you I serious? can't get any sleep! I'm apparently stomping on the wounded. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly! Find something to help the insomniac fall asleep. Oh, hi, Brother Elias. You just bumped into me is why. He just needs to sleep. I'm sensing a theme here. Quarryman Semic. Oh! Yeah? Damn, why are you waking me? You're not from Scalitz? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods, where any bandit or ruffian can sit on us. Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse. 
and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. Can we just, like, give him money? Get alien herbs for Semek. Now, this is all part of the same quest here to help the sick. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. Good. He just needs to sleep. Excellent. He just needs to sleep. Ooh, that's disgusting. A wounded man pit pocket? Okay. Oh, we can sleep and save here, too. Neat. And I think that's it. We just need to take care of the guy who... Another one that's going to be taking food out of our mouths. Frit, quest started. Find out how Fritz and Matthew are doing. Oh, that was sudden. Okay. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Cool. Okay. Thank you. I think that might be everything we can do for him. Now we still need to fight, figure out why they got kicked out. Can't talk to the guard. How about you, sir? I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. Just for a while, he said. So it was you they fought with? Neighbors, he says. Yes, it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Well, that's not nice. Isn't that a little unchristian? What does he want here? You wouldn't want personal spite to ruin their lives, would you? Well, those were just idle threats, really. If they come and apologize, there's that's always a possibility of forgiveness. Persuade Elias to let them off their debt. Huzzah! Okay, we just have to remember, or basically let Fritz and them know, be nice, don't be that guy. And they are over at the Millers, which was, where was the Millers at? Oh, it was here back in Ledechko. Well, we can go ahead and take care of that. Get something off of our to-do list. If we don't get attacked here. Don't! Attack on the road, huh? Alrighty. What do we got? Show what you're made of! Oh, hi, Pebbles. Hey! You call that combat? Oh, wrong one. No, it's not. Don't ah! Can I here, pull out my sword? <sighs> Owie, there we go. Ha! Yeah. Alright, good. We cut the knees out of you. I'll have you. I'll have you. Uh-huh. So many stabs. <laughs> Chop that wood. Come on. Die, die, die. They're doing that thing again. You're dead. Alright. You die. We reached a new level in sword. And slash. Hi. Give up your weapon, and you can go. What's to be done? Shoo. Howie. Anyway. Okay, so if you know that there's combat going, I think that you should start the combat with a sword in your hand. That... 
That's dirty pool. Anyway. Is there anything there particularly of interest for me? No, not really. Hmm. We've got a knight's hunting sword. I guess we'll pick this up. And... Where is Pebbles? Because wherever Pebbles ran off to, that is where that other body is. I would assume. Hmm. I want to loot the new body. But I can't find it. It's got to that point in combat. The second that I kill someone, I'm going to have to mark where the body is. Oh, wait a minute. No? This is the same person. Oh! Wait a minute. Maybe somewhere around here. Because we ran off this way. There you are. Some Groshen. And... Nothing else really of interest. Well, boo. Alright, well, that is what it is. Thank you for waiting patiently, Pebbles. Let's go ahead and clear this roadblock. And continue on our way. We were going the wrong way. Can fast travel? Yes, I can. Don't you tell me what I can and can't do, game. Ah! Again? Um, can we avoid? Nope. Guess we're fighting. At least they're giving us the opportunity to draw our sword first. Or our bow. Who are we fighting? Hello? We probably should. Oh, maybe that rabbit. Oh, Lord. I've seen Monty Python. I know how this ends. We'll not risk another frontal assault. That rabbit's dynamite. Um, Let's see. Save your schnapps. Vitality potion. Okay, rabbit. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I'll fire a warning shot. I'll probably fire a lot of warning shots. No. Bad rabbit. Shoo! Oh, he brought... He brought friends. Okay, where's this person that's supposed to be attacking me? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll head this way. Uh-huh. I guess he ran away. That's a shame. All right, come on, Pebbles. That that was what it was. Put away our bow. And we'll just continue on like nothing happened, because nothing did. Because it's about to be evening here soon. Looks like a bunch of people are over at the tavern, too. Okay, so Fritz and them... The quest should track exactly where they're hanging out, right? Ideally. Because I need to sleep as... Put the bow away, Henry. What's wrong with you? Oh, was that... Oh, find... Find out... We can make that money here. Well, they're not happy. It's just arms. We used to earn much more. Yes, it's not a silver mine. Okay. Matthew first. Good day. Are you happy here? 
It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Well, what's happened? Did you two get yourselves into trouble? A fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. Oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that monk. But now, the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. Hmm. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouth bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. Okay. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. Well, let's go ahead and let him... And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. I'm just here to let you know that your debts have been forgiven. About your brawl with Elias. With Elias? Talk to Fritz about that. Oh. Okay. How come you're wearing such fine armor? Is there a joust happening? Yep. Yes, there is. About your brawl with Elias. Your best friend settled the matter. You're serious? Absolutely. All you have to do is go to him and promise you'll pay the debt somehow. We... We won't forget this. Oh, my honor. Thanks. Until the next quest. Alright. Matthew's already complained about your foreman. Now, who are we talking to now? Thomas, right? I believe. So where do I find this elusive Thomas? Oh, wait a minute. Is he the f No? He'd be down here, I would assume. Hold on, let's look at the quest log. Talk to Fritz. Oh, we have to get more info from Fritz about the foreman, I would imagine. Matthew told me your foreman's a fool, and you're not exactly filled with Christian love for him. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything, and drown him in the river. Well, that's going to escalate quickly. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day here. Uh, we had a disagreement, and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting, and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. But well, how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry too. So you want to pay him back? <laughs> exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here, but that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. Hmm. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The miller's an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass. And kind with it. And what can she do? Nothing. Not that it stops Matthew gonna see her. But Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? 
You know what my puppy dog eyes at, eh? But most of the time he just struts about like a peacock. I really don't think she's the problem. Okay, this is getting more and more complicated, isn't it? And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the pay's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That might help. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Wow, Fritz. I'll think about it. Hells, bells. Okay. So Fritz wants to, uh... Plot a murder. I don't think that would... I don't think that would be good. Probably not the uh, best of options. Well, let's go ahead and... Get ourselves washed up here. And there's the bailiff. Is the elusive Thomas actually here, maybe? Oh, old Thomas. Yes, okay. Good deal. So, we got a little bit of time. Let's have a chat. Jesus Christ be praised. So what do you think about the workers I brought you? If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. Really? I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them, and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? He can't manage the work anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. But you need the help anyway. And they're pretty handy. Maybe. But they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for the mill. And I saw them eyeing up Jane. Nothing strange about that. She's a pretty girl. And she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. They'd have their way with her, then before her belly started to grow, they'd have run for the hills. Look, we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have peace to do their work, they'll be able to finish it faster. But... No buts. And then they'll take their groschen and leave. The mines will open again, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And... Leave Jane alone in the meantime. Uh. Sure. It's better than luring you out in the woods and killing you. Of course. They're not interested in the mill. They just need the coin to pay their debts. Once they've got enough, they'll have no reason to stay here. I never thought we could sort it out this way. I've known them for a long time, and you can rely on them when it comes to this. Everybody will be better off. All right. If they keep their part of the bargain, I'll even give them a few extra groschen. But woe be tied them if they don't. You can tell them that. Talk to Matthew. One e beer. Excellent. Okay, well, that ended better. They, or, I don't know if it's necessarily ended. But we'll see what happens. Alright, guys. Well, I think that I will go ahead and end the episode here, get some sleep, and we will pick it up next time and uh, see what we can do in the monastery. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.